To see changes in your Salesforce org and who made them, you want to view the setup audit trail. So I'm going to search for view setup audit trail and under security, you'll see a link for view setup audit trail. Click on that to bring up the audit trail for your organization. It has the last 20 entries to your audit trail for your organization down below here. Now, I previously had deactivated and then reactivated this particular org that I'm in. So some of the recent changes shows that it's cleared the organization expiration date as well as the end user and the time that this change was made. And then prior to this were several different line items by Salesforce themselves. So sometimes Salesforce will initiate changes to orgs and you can see what was done. And rarely, but sometimes you can see the actual user that performed this particular process. And this is a delegate user here, someone with Salesforce. Now, if you need to see further back in time than the last 20 changes to your org, you can download the setup audit trail for the last six months and that'll give you a CSV file that says comma separated value file. So clicking on that will give you this in your downloads. You can open that then and view all changes in your org over the past six months. And so the view setup audit trail functionality inside of Salesforce is helpful for seeing changes that have been made and that may be helpful for troubleshooting if something's gone wrong. You can see who changed what and when as well as remembering what changes you've made for an org that you may need to package up as a change set to push to another organization. So sometimes you can review and see any changes that you've made through the setup audit trail as well. And so this is the extent of the changes in this org. This org has been dormant for months and months and that's why I was electing to deactivate but thought I would reactivate to show you the effects in the setup audit trail. Real world organization you would have many different user activity here going for the past six months as well as any changes to fields, objects, etc. You could always also filter by user as well in your CSV file to see changes made by a specific user. If you're trying to find changes, for example, that you've made that you want to make into a change set, for example. And so that is Setup Audit Trail. And so you can find that as View Setup Audit Trail inside of Setup. If you found this Salesforce tutorial helpful, please do like and subscribe. Please also leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn in Salesforce. And I may make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.